to just vibey vibes welcome let's talk apparently sweetie and quavo have been spending time in secret for six months this is why you don't put your mouth in love as proud sometimes seriously you don't put your mouth when people that are in love that are crying they're fighting just leave it because all the oh he's abusive she's abusive oh they were, it was a toxic relationship his um sister coming into the midst them you know i mean going having all the um, shade at each other the music video the whole you know putting her name in a song the whole she's selling the car everything that has happened guess what they are back together secretly or allegedly also but i think there's a high chance that they are back together oh well i i like them together so at the end of the day i just hope that whatever they were going through at least they've learned from it and sometimes when people break up and then they realize how important their love is and when they come back together they do have more respect for each other as long as they both equally wanted to be back together then they will both respect the relationship and hopefully don't want that relationship to go bad on another news shakari is apparently beefing with jamaican people because someone did tweet and say not your jamaican still talking shit when you got to walk barefoot to your coconut stand every day for a living that is the most funniest tweet i have seen because you know when people tweet stupidly and they don't understand the benefit of walking barefooted in case you don't know the benefit of walking barefooted just do your research it's actually good for your overall health because your whole body is connected and when your feet can touch the soil it, it actually helps your body to take to let off waste and trust me a lot of good things for you to walk barefooted so whoever said that think maybe they are how would i say mocking uh or throwing jabs at the uh, jamaican people you just threw jab at your foolishness because what you don't know don't just stop maybe that's why they look younger and then we that's over here we don't because every time we're wearing shoes shoes shoe all the time so please that was a stupid job to be honest because it is advisable for you to walk barefooted that's why sometimes they tell you not to wear shoes in your house but it's better to even walk barefooted with the soil like the proper soil not just walk barefooted in your house that's uh, tired or flawed or had wooden floor whatever it's better to walk barefooted on a proper soil so that your your body connects to the soil it's actually quite important you can do your research on it so whoever it was that but then shakari uh, uh, liked it i thought she's like oh she can only go up from night like it's either you're happy or you're sad it's either you're um, motivating yourself or you're being a, a a sore loser you have to choose which one you are and just stick to it to be honest i was all for her but now i'm just looking at her like you lost you lost these girls had to work just the way you have to work it's a game they are going they want they want they work hard too just the way you work hard so please just take your l oh anyway and then alison felix uh olympic gold uh, medalist was on a uh, jimmy Kimmel show and then she shared some encouraging words telling everybody like you know want me to back shakari up that shakari will do well obviously in future and all of that and then shakari dissed her saying shakari just shaded her like putting on her post like and encouraging words on tv shows are just as real as well nothing at all so she's saying that what uh, she was saying was not real so i don't know what uh, what uh, shakari was saying <laughs> Alison. I don't know what Shakari wants at this particular moment. I don't know if she wants to go back. She should have just kept quiet, prayed, <laughs> work hard, go and do that. Race. Whatever she comes out, and she just takes it. Then to say, uh, you know, I think that whole thing that she did, like, uh, I, I took a couple minutes. I took a couple minutes, uh, but now um, it's, it's game time, bitches. You know, she did that whole reels or TikTok or whatever you want to call it. So I feel like that is what is eating her up because obviously what she thought was going to be game time, bitches, was not game time, bitches. Okay, on another news across the pond i don't know if you watch nollywood movies alexa kubo was getting married to uh what's this uh what's her name oh i've forgotten who he's getting married to anyway but the abo now i'll put um the whole um insta i think it's insta blog Ninja that has the um show that they're not following each other i think the marriage is called of the marriage and everything so he's not getting married anymore just love i did say few months ago that he might be bisexual i'm not sure that's an allegation but my thing is that if he was then maybe it would have been better if he told her i don't know if that is the reason but whatever the reason is for their breakup i hope if their love is real and if they are supposed to be for each other that they come back together so that is actually kind of a sad thing because they're already wedding planning they already sent save the date they already have a date and they're working towards that date i remember it, uh money saying that uh, she was going to be the wedding planner i don't know if she was wedding planner she was talking about it so it's quite sad 
So that is that. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.